Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Got a bit carried away today. Got quite a few things in the bag, all cheap, so I'm pleased with that, but rather more than I intended to buy. First out of the bag, I think I might have to do a separate video just on this little car, because it's quite an interesting little car, certainly in my opinion. It's got a sort of chain drive to make it four-wheel drive. It's pretty old. It's got metal components. Everything's all plastic nowadays. It's electric. It's got a little electric motor in there. Remco Industries Incorporated, Harrison, New Jersey. Made in the USA. Patent number two four six five nine nine eight can't quite see because i haven't got the glasses on but i'll do a separate video on that one because i like it and i'm gonna have to take it apart see how it works bought that no not in that one uh, no name on the receipt uh, that's a charity called bernard mealing 50 pence so we'll look at that later Next, I did a video, charity shop video, about a week ago about some things that I didn't buy. Some nice looking radio controlled cars and a radio controlled robot, all complete with the transmitters and very cheap. But I didn't buy them because I'm not buying radio controlled cars at the moment. Went back in the same shop today and the transmitters. Were still there. The cars had been sold, the robot had been sold, but apparently the people who bought them didn't want the transmitters. They just thought they looked nice and they were going to put them on a shelf as an interesting conversation piece. I couldn't believe that. You never get the transmitters when you want them. And here's people not bothering to buy them. So, those. St Peter's Hospice. I said, what are you going to do with the transmitters? And they said, do you want them? I said, yes, please. A pound for the three. So, I've got three transmitters now. Or three more transmitters. I didn't really need them. But I couldn't leave them in the shop because you're always going to want them if you buy a car. So that was a pound, so that's one pound fifty so far. The next shop I went in, one of my favourites, an air engine racer, Lanard. So we'll have to try that one out, see if that works. 50 pence. Same shop. A little electric train. 50 pence. I have to put the battery in that, see if it works. I just thought it looked like a bit of fun. Same shop again, and I bought two radio controlled cars. I said I wasn't going to buy any more, but because I bought those transmitters in the other shop, I thought, well, we'll just try them out. This one's missing the battery cover, 75 pence. Lamborghini Vino, Venino, can't quite make that out. 2013 XQtoys.com. That one says 27.145 megahertz. And then this one, I always fancied having one of these cars when I was younger. Never ever did. 
they used to be Morgan cars, but they were bought out by Caterham. And this is something to do with Top Gear, actually, the BBC program. Top Gear, BBC 2005. This one came from Marks and Spencers. Frequency 27 megahertz. And of course, these two don't have transmitters with them. So we'll see if we can get them to work. Those were all in Click Sergeant. Cancer and leukemia in children. £2.75 total. And then finally, in mind for better mental health, I bought this. I showed this in the video that I showed the cars and the robot and said I didn't buy them. And I didn't buy this at the time, but in the same shop again today. And I thought I might as well buy it. It's a infrared controller. No car to go with it. In fact, it's supposed to go with a uh, fire engine, Jupiter, Pride of Ponty Pandy, which is a kiddies program. Fireman Sam, I think it is. Light comes on, so it looks like it's got some batteries in it, but I've got nothing for it to go with. I just thought I'd keep it just in case. So there we go. I'll do a separate video to try these various cars out.